Eric Weber from EricWeberHorror.webs.com. If you want to see more, go to the description box and you're right, and you'll see the link to my website. Today we're going to be talking about Black Christmas from 1974. Now, it's a super low budget horror film, and it's very underrated. It has a huge but not very recognized cult following. It became a very influential film when years passed. It's been considered to be the first slasher movie, but that's not true, and I'll explain later. Now, the plot is about an escaped psychopathic killer who hides out in an attic of a sorority house. And there's a family who's living in the house, and the killer finishes them off one by one as the movie goes on. Most of the characters are disposable, but you just wait for them to die throughout the whole movie. But there's one character who is really fun to watch. My favorite is... Barbara Coard, who is played by Margot Kidder, best known as Lois Lane from the Superman movies. She just walks around the house cussing and being drunk. It's hilarious. And now, back to Black Christmas not being the first slasher movie. Well, there were plenty before us, such as Psycho, Peeping Tom, and The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre came first. Although they were both released in 1974, TCM was released in North America 10 days before Black Christmas. I know it's shocking to a lot of you hardcore Black Christmas fans, but it's true. Although Black Christmas wasn't the first slasher movie ever made, it was the first to perfect all the classic elements that are used in the most well-known slasher movies today, such as Halloween and Friday the 13th. These elements include the stalking camera and plenty more. The stalking camera was first introduced in Peeping Tom, but it was done right in Black Christmas for the first time. So what I'm saying is that Black Christmas is the most influential slasher movie ever made. And thank you for listening to Eric LeBaire Horror Movie Reviews today. And don't forget to check out all the other reviews that you haven't seen yet. You can also read them. They're pretty much the same on my website. And my next review is going to be on Horror of Dracula from 1958. Enjoy and have a good day.